Hello guys and welcome back to RC Cars UK. Paddy with you here again. And what have we got here? We've got an RG Designs cage body for a 110 crawler from Richard Goodacre. Now RG Designs make custom bodies, custom cage bodies should I say. So underneath here you'll notice it's a full cage setup. It's got the bottom plates and everything. Really solid. It's even got a 3D printed grill. Nice details on the front. Now this is as it came to me. I've put the seats inside, but even they're loose at the moment. But this is as it came to me. The bonnet, everything's made out of alloy. And I'm sure you'll agree the workmanship that's gone into this is uh, is quite something, to be honest with you. He's got skills above mine, I'll tell you that anyway. So rear end wise, obviously, like I said, it's almost in the style of a, a Comp Land Rover D90. So that's what this is based upon, really, a Comp Land Rover. You see the little 90s when they've been comped. They usually ditch most of the body in favour of one of these little cage shuttle bodies. And this is what this is based on. So you see inside, we're all braced up. This back panel here actually has a neat little trick on it as well. So this is your little lipo alarm here on your, on your back plate. Easy access in case there's something wrong. And this little puppy here, this little Delco battery, is a dead man switch. So basically, um, you, well, you're not a dead man switch, isn't it? I don't need to explain that to you, do Yeah, so all the panels on it, all the panels are alloy. They're cut out of sheets of alloy. I believe Rich cuts them out by hand with tin snips and stuff like that. He has a bench brake press for doing the uh, bends on here. You can just see there's some nice curved bends on there on that alloy. And once again, the bonnet is removable, as you can see, so you can get to your stuff down there. If you've got a forward-mounted motor, that's really handy because you can put a scale engine in there. You can hinge this if you wanted to. Uh, and you could you could do anything you wanted to really so if we turn it on its side you can get a good look at all the gubbins inside so basically here we can see the rear uh, cage welding bit so these bits here uh, actually attached to your frame rail so the whole thing's solid this is all riveted and welded together and obviously inside uh, you can see it's basically if you can take all these panels off these panels are just purely aesthetic you can take all these panels off and run it just as a cage body you could make yourself some carbon fiber panels or plastic panels or whatever you wanted to do um, Richard's actually put a scale dash in there as well and a steering wheel so yeah I mean for the amount of money that he charged me um, he's fantastic Basically, this is the second body that I actually bought off Richard. I bought another one, which I'll show you very soon, which is like this, but much bigger. It's a 1.6 scale. And I actually paid Richard for this body just on the back of the pictures of what he showed me from the other ones and stuff, because um, I know a good thing when I see it. And this is, this is good work. This body cost me £70 posted, yeah? This is one that he's used, though, himself. So he's used it lightly himself, I think, maybe for show pieces and stuff like that. So he cut me a bit of a deal on that. Um, however, they're not much more to go and get one custom made yourself. So uh, bespoke, ordered and stuff like that. Probably set you back about 85, 90 quid all in with postage. So go and hit up Richard. I'll leave a link to his uh, Facebook profile in the description. So if you do want one, go and hit him up. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching, and see you soon. 